Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel, that really helps out a lot. Thank you. Now let's move on with the video. So, there is several things I want to talk about. First, I want to go a little bit further in depth on this storm that's happening right now across the Midwest. And after that, I kind of want to go further in depth on what's going to happen with the next couple of days of the pattern. So... Overall, there's going to be a very active period of several sto snowstorms happening across the country. Some even going into uh, uh, <coughs> areas like southern Missouri and Tennessee and Kentucky. Even Virginia and North Carolina, those areas could see some snow. And other storms are just going to be weaker but further up north. So let's get right into it. Also, guys, I tried yesterday making a video for you with this storm. It was supposed to be purely dedicated to the storm. However, of course, YouTube video editor or like the thing where you trim the video couldn't do anything for me. So I, I looked for maybe five or six hours, couldn't find a single video editor without being a scam or costing me over like $30. So I finally, I think I found one, but it still might not work. So if you see this video, Honestly, I'll be really happy because that means that it worked, but if you don't see this video, which you won't know, then obviously it didn't work. But let's get right into it. So you can see this storm will have some back around <coughs> snow for cities like Chicago, Milwaukee, because most of the day has been quite warm. But on this side in Ohio, Indiana, across the cold front, there is a lot of severe weather I mean tornado warnings severe thunderstorm warnings tornado watches severe thunderstorm watches there is a disaster going on with all these thunderstorm watches and you can see the snow wraps around but then it does gradually weaken off and move off and you can see that mushroom shape tell me that does not look like a mushroom the stock right here the head right here made, made out of the snow that is a typical spring like storm for the Midwest so that is the first storm that was going to be passing through. Then this, there's this storm, this little clipper that I think the GFS is majorly underestimating. This storm could be a first wave of many waves coming out from the Rockies. And it, <clears throat> this wave will bring, I think, a couple of inches to areas like Chicago, Michigan, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And these areas could see quite a bit of snow from this because this... um. A little system won't be too large, however, it will have some heavy snow bands with it. So that could leave a couple of inches of snow behind, but the main story is this giant right here. This April storm. Look at that. I mean, heavy snow on the front, on the north side. Heavy rain on the back side. And you can see this is like southern Indiana, southern Illinois, so this is really far south for nowadays. And this will just clobber the mid-Atlantic region like Washington, D.C. and Virginia. And the reason why I'm getting concerned for this is because the weather models have been showing this for several days. However, there's still a lot of disagreement when it comes to um, when it comes to a snow, exact where the snow will fall, how much snow will fall, and most likely as of now it will happen. But you know, there's always still that uncertainty whether it will happen like at all. And you can see this. There's a second storm that comes out right here, uh, out of the just pretty much from west to east travels and it weakens as it moves out and that's how far the GFS goes with this model run so I'll take you back to the old model and you can see very similar same storm and that's pretty much gonna be it for probably winter because then after that it just warms up and big spring storms with rain maybe a couple of snow east storms on the backside but that's confined to the northern areas like North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota and that doesn't really affect many major cities across the east so I think we just have a couple more weeks, if not even a couple, just a week and a half of more of some snowy weather, cold weather, and I think then spring will come, which I really do want it to come. And if we go look at the NAM, I want to go in depth on that second little clipper that I was talking about, that one right there. Look at that. So this is <coughs> this is a little storm, and it's what I was talking about. Look at that. That's... That's heavy snow, even though it's a small band, it's con convective, and that during spring, those can get really strong uh, snowfall rates. That passes through, <coughs> and it goes through areas like Michigan, New York, Northeast, before it weakens. But then this is the second storm, which NAM thinks will be further north than the GFS, but you could still see that they're all agreeing that something will happen. So this is definitely something we'll need to watch. Um, let's go to the European model. Let's see what it says on this let me zoom back into the country 
so this is the first storm you could see if you move this forward it's um it wraps around hits areas like chicago with some snow and and by the way if you're wondering um anywhere where you see the shaded color is snow anywhere you see just green and blue that's that's just plain old rain so you can see <coughs> that affects us the european model has this little system going also very similar path to the nam so we'll definitely need to watch that but the second system that European is more agreeing with the GFS, which is definitely showing us something. If the two biggest weather models are agreeing, then that definitely shows us. And look, it's even agreeing on the third storm. So there's actually quite a bit of agreement with this with these storms. And that's why I have a high that's why I have a high confident confidence that this will happen. And um let's go to the Canadian model and see if it's agreeing with all these storms. You could see here's the first storm agreed. Second little storm agreed, third storm agreed, and fourth storm agreed. So there's a lot of agreement with the models on this, which usually you see me saying or hear me saying that there's there's not a lot of mo agreement with the models. This is hard, but this time I don't think it'll be um, that hard to forecast if the models are 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 all agreeing on these, you know, on these um, on these storms. It's, I mean, look, the Canadian, all four of them, the NAM is agreeing for the first two. The European and GFS are all agreeing on the same one, so this is definitely, this doesn't happen that often in meteorology, and I'll, I'm surprised because spring storms are usually unpredictable, but I guess in this case, it seems as if um, there could definitely be quite a bit of snow, and if you're wondering how much snow will fall, just look at that. That is quite a bit of snow according to the CMC model. Let's go to the GFS. I'm fairly certain, yep, very similar story. This very heavy snow band right here to the north and one here to the south. Um, yeah, so let's go to the 12 one and see if it changed. Yeah, not that much. I mean, it changed a little bit, but um, there's a lot of agreement that there will be plenty of snow for the north. So this is definitely something we need to watch and we need to continue forecasting. If you're wondering about the temperatures, two meter temperature shaded. <coughs> The GFS, after this, these couple of storms, you could see there's the 30s, but look at that. Did you see that? 60s. Anywhere you see yellow is above 60, and those 60s become much more prevalent. I mean, you can see there's still going to be probably a couple of cold shots, but wow, like it's going to warm up quite quickly once the cold air stops invading after mainly after this week and a half. So I just want to show you the radar of the storm that's happening right now. Just to give you a little update, so this is supposed to wrap around. I'll show you that the future radar isn't that well forecasting. You can see it's putting it more south than it actually is. But this is how it's supposed to go. It's just supposed to shift down and hit areas like Chicago, Elgin, Kalamazoo, Elgin right there, Kalamazoo, Lansing, Flint, and just passes through but this is the thing guys there's many storms that have happened like this and they're supposed to curve around and bring us snow most of those don't happen so I have very low confidence whether the snow will even occur um, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more updates on the weather on my channel see you guys in the next episode